4.30 in the morning and we're getting ready to go to the airport. Turkey is one of the places where you can get only certain cars on Uber. We ordered a taxi and it's already waiting here. The benefit of going early to the airport here is that there's almost no traffic, so this is probably the best time to actually go such a long distance in traffic. Just made it through the first security, now we're gonna go and uh, check in Akur Simboyan's luggage and then hopefully we'll be on our way past security quickly so that we have a bit of time at the lounge to just relax and wait for our flights to board. Interesting, so here they have these uh, self backdrop machines where you can just scan your boarding pass and then check in your back. So that's even faster than usually web check-in with uh, backdrop. Okay, we're getting to the Turkish Airlines Starlines Gold Lounge. I've actually never been here, but I've heard many good things. So I'm excited to check it out. It's indeed a very nice lounge. Just at breakfast, also a good moment to uh, catch up one-on-one -on -one with Boyan. And uh, now I'm just checking when my flight is gonna board and how close it is to getting ready. And then I'm gonna head to my gate soon. I think that's one really cool feature of this lounge. There's a cinema with very comfortable chairs. I guess a lot of people just use it to sleep. There's a popcorn machine right in front of it so you can get some popcorn when you go watch a movie. Oh, and it even has a uh, golf simulator here. Pretty fun lounge, a place to spend a bit more time. Not that I would come back to just spend time here, but it's definitely one of the nicer fun lounges. There's also a piano back there. But I'm just looking for the restrooms and I can, can't find them. Uh, so I'll keep looking. Finally found them. This is a big lounge. All right, now it's time to head to my flight. I guess it's still early for me because I was trying to figure out where gate 203 was. So they have several signs, 212 till 230, so it's not there, and 211 till 205. So it takes you a while to realize they go from the high one to the low one for some reason. And then the one that I have to go with is 204 till 201. And for some reason I was just not reading that correctly. I wonder if that's something Turkish or just something that this airport does, that you start ranges on the higher end and then you have to dash and then the lower end. If uh, someone knows, please let me know. I guess if, I were, if it wasn't this early and I had had more sleep, probably this would not have been a big challenge for me, but I literally just stood there for at least 30 seconds trying to figure out which way to go. All right, looks like a pretty much on time. Boarding, not <laughs> much more to say. <laughs> Looking forward to getting some sleep on this flight. And, uh, so today I'm flying to Geneva to A, meet with our team in Le Chatel, which is also in the French part of Switzerland. And then later tonight, Robert and I are giving a presentation about the Affinity at the hub or uh, co-working space, I think, called Fusion. Even though I travel all over the world, I don't actually spend that much time in the French part of Switzerland, so I'm looking forward to meeting some people down there. With that, I'm back in Switzerland. Now it's all about getting the train quickly enough. I am headed to a company that supports us in Neuchâtel to talk to them about KYC. KYC stands for Know Your Customer. And what that means is uh, when you're selling someone a token, uh, letting them be investors in your token, you need to know certain things about them. This company is helping us do that. One of the biggest benefits of owning only so few things is definitely that I don't have to wait for the luggage belt at the baggage claim. So now it took me from when we touched down, taking a bus to the terminal, going through immigration, to here, less than 12 minutes. All right, I've made it to Neuchâtel, and now I am on the last stretch, making my way to neuchâtel Serrière, where I'll meet with Robert to look at how gorgeous this is. It's a beautiful day. This is definitely a place where you can live. It's also right by the lake. Very nice. So we spent some time with Pitti, who is our KYC provider. A whole lot of interesting stuff about what it means to provide KYC and AML for crypto funds and that providing source of funds and origin of funds it can be a bit of a tricky story in crypto, especially if you care about privacy and you've transferred your funds from one place to another over time. So super interesting and now we're on the way to Geneva where we are going to talk at Fusion. We're going to give a high level overview of Definity and a bit more of a deep dive by Robert on 
on the consensus mechanism. We're back in Geneva, took the tram, and now we're headed to this fintech co-working slash incubator space. Well, first of all, thank you guys for coming. We're super excited so that you guys know who you're talking to. My name is Cedric. We originally set up the Definity Foundation together with our founder, Dominic Williams, roughly two years ago now. And Robert is uh, our researcher in Zurich. And uh, we're both based out of Zurich. I travel a lot, as everyone in the space. So we're going to be covering a whole bunch of topics, everything from vision and um, general architecture of Definity to its co governance mechanisms. And then Robert is also going to deep dive on some of our uh, innovations. We just finished our presentation of Definity here at Fusion. Pretty nice crowd, lots and lots of questions, which is great. Maybe it helped that we handed out t-shirts for everyone who had a question. And now we're going to have uh, dinner with some of these guys and then probably head back to the hotel. What I'm taking away from myself is I do want to get better at presenting this high-level topic of what the internet computer is and the possibilities and opportunities that Definity will offer. I think some of it came across, but uh, one thing that I realized is I I need to do my own slides, so the slides that I presented today were probably like 50% inherited from stuff that we had. And it did work, but it did not work as good as if I go through the script myself and I come up with a logical order of stuff. But I think overall, a uh, successful event. It was also fun. I'm looking forward to dinner now and uh, diving deep on some of the topics that we touched, like governance systems. And then that's going to be it, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.